In this video, I will show you how to use the Marble Run package and how it works in Blender. It is very powerful and comes with a bunch of different parts and textures. Now, the package comes with a few different example files. And as you can see, there are a lot of different parts that you can play around with to make a really cool and complicated Marble Run. So uh, let's open the actual package and uh, let's play around with the package. So as you can see, we have a bunch of different parts. So create a new collection. And then we can duplicate one of the objects. Press Shift D to duplicate. And then M to move it to a different layer. So let's move it to the layer we just created. And then we can hide the rest of the layers. And then let's take a close look. So press Del on the numpad to focus on this object. Then press Shift D to duplicate, then Set to move it on the set axis. And then press Shift R to repeat the previous actions. Now we have a spiral. So let's add some other parts as well. Let's add this part, press Shift D to duplicate, and M to move it to a different layer. I don't think you actually have to duplicate, but I like to do it. And then we can press G to grab this object. Like this. And then you just repeat this process until you have a uh, nice set of spirals and obstacles that you like. And then next, we need to select one of the balls and uh, move it to the other layer. But you also have to uh, disable the relations so that it's not parent to any of the empties. Then move it to the collection we created. And then press G to grab. And I'm going to add it to the top of the run. Like this. And then we can bake the simulation. And make sure we only use the collection that we created. I'm going to give it a name. And then bake the simulation. And as you can see, it works. The baking speed for these rigid body simulations is very quick. So you can very easily create new bakes and make some changes. And that's it for this video, more Blender videos coming soon.